parents and authorities now turning in children for mental health at an eye opening rate. Some fa facilities seeing triple the referrals just in the last two weeks. New at 6 ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck revealing the dramatic spike in two Bay Area counties. Sarah. I called 40 mental health centers today, both here in Tampa Bay and across Florida. And what I found is facilities like this are seeing more kids in the last two weeks since the Parkland shooting. Parents, school leaders and police officers are not taking any chances. It's OK if your child has a mental illness. Wendy Monaco hopes parents see the shooting in Parkland as a red flag. Mental illness is real. It can be treated. It can be managed. But we've got to get we got to get rid of the stigma. Her son Michael was arrested after a fight at school and an altercation with his sister. Monaco called 911, but instead of Michael, who has autism, being Baker acted, they arrested him and took him to juvenile detention. Since then, Monaco has increased her son's treatment and is spreading the word to other parents. They've been a lifesaver to my son because he wouldn't be where he is now without all the help he's gotten. Across Florida, more parents like Monaco are taking their kids to centers like this. People are more cautious. They're more concerned. No one wants to take a chance. Law enforcement also bringing kids here where they're held for up to 72 hours for treatment. At PEMS in Pinellas Park, they ran out of space and when they called around, there were no beds elsewhere in the community. Over the past five years, the number of kids Baker acted in Hillsborough County rose a whopping 140% in Polk, 137%. And Pinellas, 29%. Monaco knows not everyone agrees with Baker acting children, but says it's incredible how much counseling and medication has made a difference with her son. I hate to say it's a great thing, but in some ways it is because now they're saying this is bigger than me and I need to get my child help. Governor Rick Scott plans to add $50 million to mental health across the state of Florida, something that a lot of parents are saying could really help. Reporting live in Pinellas Park, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.